In this video, we are going to go over group managed service accounts, talk about what they are and also uh, go on a Windows Server 2012 R2 machine and configure one. Group managed service accounts were a new thing in Windows Server 2012. Uh, it is the same thing now, so nothing changed in Windows Server 2012 R2. And if you don't know exactly what a group managed service account is, but you have heard of managed service accounts, uh, basically GMSAs are a much better version of the managed service accounts. A group managed service account is a service user that has its uh, password managed by Active Directory which you can use uh, for your services or your scheduled tasks or your IIS app pools without you having to manage the password. So this is a very good security improvement in case you now use uh, normal service accounts created by yourself. And the big difference between a GMSA and an MSA is that group managed service accounts can be used on uh, multiple servers while managed service accounts can be used only on one server. As far as support goes, uh, you can use GMSAs on hosts that uh, use Windows Server 2012 and Windows 8 and up. And you can use them for services, scheduled tasks and also for IIS app pools. And this is a list with the basic steps that you need to uh, do to create a group managed service account and use it. The first one is uh, create a key distribution service. This is a service that is used to generate the GMSA passwords. And uh, uh, this uh, thing you have to do only once in your environment. So in case you can use already group managed service accounts, you can skip it because you only have to do it once. The second thing is optional, but I always like to use it. Uh, it is to create a group and add computers to that group that should use a specific uh, group managed service account. The third thing we have to do is actually create the GMSA and using the group we created earlier, give uh, different hosts the right to retrieve the password from Active Directory. The next step is done on the computers or servers that will use the GMSA and it is to install the GMSA. And the last is to actually use it. So to configure a service, for example, that will run as that group managed service account. So this is it for the talking. Uh, let's head over to our test server and create a GMSA. So I'm right now on my domain controller and the first thing I will do is uh, create the key distribution service. And here I want to mention one thing. In the test environment, I'm going to use this command, but in a production environment, please use the second one. The difference between them is that the second one will run and you will have a wait time of 10 hours before you can uh, start creating GMSAs. This is so that all your domain controllers will have this information replicated to them. The first command will skip the waiting and uh, it will permit us to create GMSAs immediately. And of course, since it's a test environment, this is why I will use it. So we have created our KDS root key. Now let's create a, a group in which we will put a server. And the server that I will place in this group is called HV01. So this is the server on which I will install the group managed service account. Now let's create the group managed service account using this command and you see we give it a name, a DNS uh, host name. 
and we use the group created earlier to permit the, the computers in this group to access the password. And uh, the service account is now created. Before we go on, I want to restart the server HV01 so that uh, we will be able to install the group and service account on it so it gets a new seed. And after the restart, we can continue. I uh, used the uh, Enter PS session to log on to HV01. And the first thing we have to do on a server that will use group managed service accounts is uh, install the uh, PowerShell Active Directory module. This is needed because we will need some commands from this module to actually uh, install the GMSA or uninstall it. With this module installed, we can use this command to install the GMSA on our server. And with the test command, we can make sure that it will actually work uh, to use the GMSA. And if you get true, then you can uh, go on. Now to test the group and service account, I will create a very simple scheduled task that will uh, write the user uh, as which it uh, runs in a text file. So I have a bat file here. I will copy it to HV01. I will place it in a test folder. And in this folder, we should also get the text file with the user uh, that the scheduled task runs as. So to create the task, let's create the action that runs the script, a trigger that is actually not even needed, the user, this is important, so you see, uh, you specify the user account and logon type is password. And let's create the scheduled task. Now let's run it. And we should already have in this folder a text file. And if we look into it, you see that the scheduled task runs as our group managed service account. And the last thing I want to show you is uh, how to remove a group managed service account from a server. In case you don't need it anymore, you just use this command and you're done. And with this, we are also done with the video. It, this was a quick look at how to create and manage a group managed service accounts. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and share it. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. It would help me a lot. And uh, thanks a lot for watching.